Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to The Productive Homemaker. Here in my little corner of YouTube, I like to talk about frugal and intentional living. I'd love it if you'd grab a cup of coffee and join me while I cook supper. Tonight, we went fancy and indulged in a fish dinner. It's such a treat that my entire family loves. Lightly fried fish, mashed potatoes, and a Caesar salad just hits the spot on some nights. There was a time where I used to be terrified of cooking fish. I was always worried that I'd end up undercooking it and then it would make everybody sick. But fortunately, over the years of trial and error, I have figured out the best way to cook it. And for us, pan frying it is usually the easiest way for me to keep it from being overcooked, but being cooked enough that it's safe to consume. We're starting off with making the mashed potatoes. I don't do anything terribly special with them, but I peel them out using gold Yukon potatoes, which is my personal favorite to work with. And then we'll boil it on the stove to then mash up and add in our mashed potato ingredients. Recently, I was having a conversation with a dear young friend of mine. She's a new adult learning to walk through life and the difficulties that arise. Her frustrations and feelings of despair were palpable in our conversation. And all she could see in front of her as we were speaking was the brick wall and that no amount of pushing, scratching, or hitting it was making it budge. She was explaining to me that the battle had left her feeling as if there was no hope or reason to try and that the fate of her life was to stand and stare at this brick wall until the end of her days. Oh, how I could relate to those swirling emotions. It's a place that I've sat in myself. The problems seeming so giant and in my face that it is all consuming. And it's so close to me that my breath warms the brick and it catches my tears as I struggle against it. Have you ever made a homemade Caesar salad dressing? It is probably one of my most favorite recipes to have learned and have up my sleeve for just a normal night dinner. It's surprisingly easy, but the taste is out of this world in comparison to what you can buy in the store. Here I'm using some Parmesan cheese, anchovy paste, garlic, lemon juice, and olive oil, as well as some egg yolks. It is so delicious and so easy. I don't think I could ever go back to purchasing it from the store after tasting it this way. All I do is add my ingredients into my mason jar. And then I use an emulsifier to just put it all together. And voila, it's a perfect and creamy Caesar salad dressing. The great thing about making it at home is that you can also adjust the flavors the way you want it. So if you need more salt and pepper or more lemon to make it acidic, it's very easy to tailor it to your family's needs. After releasing all the pent up frustrations and worries, my sweet friend took a breath and she asked me what I would do. And my friends, I want to tell you what I told her. And that is to simply just take a step back. You see, problems are typically very personal and they're personal for a reason. When life goes awry, as it often will, it slams the brakes on whatever plans we have been working towards. They can grow to be so big that it encompasses our entire vision, and it can really feel like there is no hope or way to change the circumstances that you're in. So whenever this has happened, the best recourse in action I've found 
is to close my eyes, take a deep breath, and step back. If the issue is the only thing we see, that makes it difficult to come up with a solution. By taking a step back and calmly surveying the entire situation, the ground beneath our feet comes back into view. The blue sky contrasts against the bricks and it gives just a a fresh perspective. The fix we're looking for could be as simple is walking a ways to go around the wall. Or maybe it'll take a bit more creativity to go over or under it. The point is though, is that we can't figure out what the fix is if our face is right up against the problem. As we continued our conversation, I shared with her some of my own past circumstances that had caused me great distress through my life. There have been moments where it felt as if there was no way to move past until I stood back. And for myself, there was no simple way to go around, but I did find a way. Instead of giving up and accepting defeat, I found a shovel and began digging. If we couldn't go through, around, or over it, the only option was the back-breaking, character-building work of digging a new path underneath to get to the other side. It's as the old adage goes, if there's a will, there's always a way. Now, there is no guarantee of the work being easy. In fact, you'll probably get some blisters and a sunburn. But is that any worse than giving up? No matter the situation, whether it be financial, career, relational, There is always an opportunity to learn, grow, and move past it. The hardest part is that it's up to us to put the work in because no one else can do it for you. Mm, The humble mashed potato. It's always a great addition to any supper time meal. A good trick that I've learned is that once I'm finished mashing it and adding in all my flavors, I'll throw some aluminum foil on it and tuck it in the oven unwarm, just so that way it stays nice and cozy and doesn't get hard as it waits for the rest of dinner to be prepared. I am preparing the fish in a very simple way. Now, what I'm using here tonight is tilapia but you can use any fish that tickles your fancy. And I'm using a basic breading of flour, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Lightly frying it on the stovetop in lard, but you can also use an oil of your choice if you don't have access to lard. The great thing about doing fish like this is that it really only takes about three, three to four minutes on each side. So it's very quick to work through once you get started. Once the fish is done, I went ahead and put our salad together. My wonderful eight-year-old chopped up my romaine for me and washed it. And so here I'm just adding in my dressing that we made earlier with a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese just to make it extra delicious. Take heart, my friend, in knowing that there will always be a new problem to wrestle with. But you are smart enough to know that there is a reason and lesson in it for you to grow. And no matter how bleak the situation may seem, there is always hope and goodness to be found. Thank you so much for coming with me tonight. Your company always makes my day brighter. If you're interested in any recipes, you can always find them in my Patreon community linked below as I work to upload them all for you. We'll speak again very, very soon, and I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day.